Hello, uh, this is Jahan Azizi. What we are going to talk about today is the issue that some of the uh, arthroscopic shaver has. And one of the one that it came to our attention is the O-rings that they are inside these area that they kind of block the fluid from going to the uh, to the electronic portion of it. Is that potential for wearing and leaking? So the potential for leak going from uh, this area to the electronic. So we came up with this uh, shaver leak tester stuff. Basically, it looks for the uh, blocking the end of the shaver. And while you do that, then you can actually test the integrity of inside to see if the shaver is functioning correctly. It's a simple process. So what you do, you uh, we have five different ones. We have leak testers for Midas Rex, we have for Striker, Conmat, Dianic, and Artrax. So I have a couple of those here that we're going to demo a good one and a bad shaver. So here I'm doing a Dianic. So what you do is, as I mentioned, it's pretty simple. You plug the tip. Some of these you have to actually push it to lock in. But once it's here, then you have this pump. So make sure that the pump is here, you attach it to this end, and make sure that the on-off switch is on. Then you close this, and then you start pumping. Usually one pump is enough. So in this case, say about 180. If it's an issue with it, you see the gauge coming down. So and then you can manipulate the switch just in case. And this shaver is good. So now we're going to take this off. Obviously, we can let the air go. And we have another dionic shaver. This is the same approach. So what we do, we attach this to it. Make sure that this is in place. Again, it's zero. Close it, and you see that this shaver is leaking. So there's an issue with the O-ring inside this. So good shaver would not leak, and one that has an issue with the O-ring, it leaks. So this is uh, obviously you need to send that back for remove it because now you have fluid inside the wire. So we're going to try another one. This is a striker. Same approach. You attach the cord uh, hose to it. And the same, make sure that this, for example, this one has a latch. You need to make sure it goes in correctly. Again, you pump. And as you see, there's no leakage. And do, and here we have as I mentioned, some of these have a little latch that you need to make sure that you line them up correctly and you go in. So with uh, <clears throat> the shavers, if you have an issue inside with the O-rings that separates uh, the fluid from the electrical portion of it, if there's a good O-ring, obviously uh, the pressure would stay. But if you have a bad O-ring, some of obviously could be really worn out and some could be just small leak. So you just want to have a solid numbers and steady pressure. If you see the pressure decreases, even the slower, then obviously there's an issue with it. So I would recommend once you have um, the leaky shaver to uh, send it back for repair or test a little more to see if there's an issue with the O-rings and potential for leaking fluid into the electrical portion of it.